name is Jude Kappa. I am a assistant professor of dairy science at WSU. So let's think about carbon footprints. It's a term that we hear over and over and over again, but what does it actually mean? According to the EPA, a carbon footprint is defined as the total greenhouse gas emissions caused directly and indirectly by an individual organization or state in a given time. So an example of a direct emission would be you driving to the store in your car. Those emissions are direct. The indirect emission from you doing that would be those generated by your car being made in the first place. When we look at a carbon footprint, we measure it in carbon dioxide equivalent. The reason we do this is that not all greenhouse gases are equal in their capacity to trap heat and to cause global warming. So we consider CO2, carbon dioxide, to have a global warming index of one. Compared to that, methane, CH4, is 23 times more potent and nitrous oxide is 298 times more potent. So one unit of nitrous oxide is like 298 units of CO2. And as an animal agriculture industry, methane and nitrous oxide are issues that we have to think about cutting down and mitigating. So sustainability, it's literally on the cover of every magazine from fortune to town and country to time. It's absolutely everywhere. What we're also seeing is that it's aching its way into the animal ag trade press. This is the cover of a dairy herd management magazine and it features the CFL, the compact fluorescent light bulb. It's in the media, it's at the consumer and it's also there for the food retailer. This is a um, clip of an article from the Wall Street Journal and this is basically talking about two companies, Cadbury's in the UK and Walmart over here. Walmart has taken on this message as a company and they have recently asked all of their suppliers to answer 15 questions. One of those questions is whether they as a supplier have assessed their individual carbon footprint. So it's a big issue for the media, it's an issue for the consumer and it is an issue also for the retailer. But as an animal ag industry we are being held accountable. Um, this is partly because of a report which came out in 2006 from the FAO which concluded that animal agriculture on a global basis accounted for 18% of global greenhouse gas emission. By contrast, there was a report by the EPA looking at all national greenhouse gas emissions and they concluded that all agriculture, that's animals and crops, only contributed about 6% of the total US carbon footprint. So as an animal ag industry, we have to be able to evaluate and talk about the effect of productivity on environmental impact. If we look at the FAO report in more detail, almost half, 48% of that total 18% figure is attributed to deforestation, i.e. cutting down trees. Now, that is a huge issue in some areas of the globe, but certainly over here in the States and also in Europe, they've actually added trees every year for the last 25 years. So it isn't an issue for US agriculture as such. So as I say, let's go to the EPA data. They have calculated that 6% of total U.S. greenhouse gas emissions come from all of agriculture. And of that, about half comes from animals. Cows themselves, i.e. beef or dairy, contribute 2%. And of that, dairy is less than 1%. So that's a really tiny number compared to cars or industry or anything else. But as an animal ag industry, that is something that we could and should change to improve environmental impact. Mm -hmm.